square into this computer square. So it will be 2 into x squared minus 2x plus um, 1, se 17, is that correct? And we also saw what must be added to complete the square with the same number must after. So it's going to be p times half, which is 2 times half, which is 1, and 1 squared is 1. That is my perfect square triangle. Okay, so it's 2 into x minus 1 squared plus 16. We get rid of that outer bracket. So it's 2 into x minus 1 squared plus 32. Can I ever answer the question? The question says for which value of x? So then I can say therefore x is equal to? Okay. Question 11, no, it's not 11. Question 4.1.1. The question says, simplify. So what do I have to do first? I need to change that to exponential form. So it will be uh, P to the exponent 2 over 3, and it's raised to the power negative. Now 1 to any exponent is 1, so that's 1 over p, and 2 over 3 times negative 3 is negative 2. And since it's negative as a denominator, it will be positive as a numerator, so it will be p squared over 1, which is p squared. Okay. The next question is 4 for 1.3. Again, to simplify, but 3 to the exponent 2x plus 1 times 15 to the exponent 2x minus 3 over 27 to the exponent x minus 1 times 3 to the x times 5 to the 2x minus 4. So the first thing is you're going to break up all these bases into products of its prime factors. So it's 3 to the 2x plus 1 times. Now 15 can be written as 3 times 5 and raised to the 2x minus 3. Over 27 is going to be 3 cubed raised to the x minus 1 times 3 to the x times 5, 2x minus 4. Okay. So what we got now is 3 to the 2x plus 1 times 3 to the 2x minus 3 times 5 to the 2x minus 3 over 3 to the 3x minus 3 times 3 to the x times 5 to the 2x minus 4. Okay. So when you're multiplying it by the same, you add the exponents. So it's going to be 2x plus 1 plus 2x minus 3. And when we divide, we subtract the exponents. So it's minus 3x plus 3 minus x. So remember, the signs changes. Okay. Multiply by 5 to the 2x minus 3 minus 2x plus 4. As you can see, which will simply give us 3, 2x, 4x, x, no x. The 3 is cancelled, so I'm left with 3 to the 1 multiplied by 2x minus 2x cancel, 5 to the 1. And 3 times 5 is 15. Is that correct? Any confusion? Next, what's the difference with this and the previous one is that here we have pluses or minus between. So what do we need to do here? We need to break up and factor. So we got 2 to the 2x times, now for, um, sorry, plus um, 4 to the x times 4 to the 1 over 4 to the x plus 2 to the 2x times 2 to the 1. But you all should agree that 4 to the x is the same as saying 2 to the x squared, which is 2 to the 2x. You all agree with that? So 2 to the 2x is common at the bottom and on top. Okay. So we take out 2 to the 2x as a common factor. I'm left with 1 plus 4 over 
two to the two x, so I could have written four to the x the same thing. One plus two to the four minus one. Of course that cancels. One plus four is five over one and a half, which is three over two, which is going to be ten over three. Ten over three, correct? Four point two. Question four point two. The question says solve for x. Okay. So of course the half can be written as two to the negative one, the raised to the exponent x, is equal to two to the exponent five. Get rid of the brackets. So multiply the exponents. So two to the negative x equal to two to the five. Therefore, minus x is equal to five divided by negative both sides. So x is equal to negative. Yeah, it was a mistake in the sum, eh? Hmm? It was rewritten as 2 to the 2x plus 21 times 2 to the x that equal to 46. Okay, so this is, we know that 2 to the 2x can be written as um, 2 to the x squared. Not so. So we can say that k equals 2 to the x. So here we'll have now k squared plus 21k minus 46. Okay. So what are my factors here? 46 is 23. No? 23 and 2. Plus 23 minus. So k is equal to minus 23, or k is equal to 2. But what is k? 2 to the x. So 2 to the x is negative 23. Firstly, that's not going to happen. Okay, the number has to be positive. And 2 to the x is equal to 2, to the 1. Therefore, x is equal to 1. Okay. 4.3. We are told given that 1 plus root 2 over 1, 3 plus uh, 2 root 3 is equal to the root of a plus b. We have the value of the values of a and b without the use of a calculator. Okay, so we're looking at the left hand side. Okay, we need to rationalize the denominator. Okay, as you can see, the de there's no denominator, you have a rational denominator on the right hand side, which is 1. We multiply by this by number 1, which is basically the conjugate pair of the denominator. Where it is a plus, so I take a minus, so that had to be a minus, so we take an A, plus. Okay. So by doing that, I can multiply the first and the last thing. So that would be 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2. Uh, root 2 times root 2 is 2. Okay, so the denominator here falls away basically because it's 1. And then multiply the top part. Okay. So 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times negative 2 root 2 is ne negative 2 root 2. Plus 3 times root 2 is 3 root 2. Minus uh, 2 root 2 times root 2 is going to be 2 times 2. Okay, which is basically 4. Okay. So 3... Minus 4 is negative 1. Okay? And negative 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2 is root 2. Positive root 2 equals the square root of a plus b. But the question was what is the value of, we determine the value of a and b. So therefore, as you can see in a's place I got the 2. Therefore a is equal to 2 and b is equal to negative 1. Okay. The next uh, section goes into uh, geometry. Okay, so we'll carry on with this tomorrow. Now, this.